Hi everyone! So today I have a new Lightroom tutorial for you and I'm going to show you how to edit a indoor portrait photo. So normally indoor photos are lit up with tungsten light or there's like weird reflections that cause weird colors in your photos. So I'm going to show you how to edit that today in Lightroom. So this is the photo that we're working on and the first thing I want to do is adjust the white balance. So you can either do that manually or you can use this little shortcut that Lightroom has and click the eyedropper tool and basically what you want to do is click on anything that's supposed to be white or black. So I'm going to click here on the wall and it will automatically adjust my white balance settings. So normally Lightroom does a pretty good job at doing this automatically. However, for this photo, I don't really want it to be like super perfect in the lighting. I do want it to be a little bit warm. So I'm just going to head over to the temperature and bring it up just a little bit. Just up to there I think looks pretty good. So the next thing I want to do is bring up my contrast a little bit as the image looks like it's a little bit dark for my taste. Now, I don't know if you can tell too much, but this was lit up by a window light and the window must have been a little bit low because if you can see here, this half of the image is lit up really well by natural light. However, the model's face is kind of not lit up by the light. It's a little bit more in the shadows. So I'm going to fix that by using the graduated filter. So I'm just going to click that and drag down over that part where the light from the window isn't hitting our subject well enough. So basically with the graduated filter, this line in the middle is where the filter starts to fade. This is where the fade ends and this is where it starts to fade a little bit. So I like to keep the line where it starts to fade kind of towards the end of where the shadow is. So I'll just show you quickly if I bring the exposure way down. You can see here the fading happening with the graduated filter. So if I were to bring this up, it turns into a really straight line with no nice natural fade. So we like to bring this out as far as you possibly can just to make it look really natural. So I'm gonna have it about there. And instead of having the exposure all the way down, I'm going to just bring it up slightly just to bring a little bit more light into our subject's face. So I think just there looks really good. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is sharpen my image. So I'm just going to head down here and create that little sharpening ladder, which I always do. And now I want to give this image a little bit of a style. So we're going to head into the tone curves and give this a nice little S curve. And by bringing the slider up here in the blacks, it gives it like a faded matte kind of look, which I love doing. So I'm just going to go ahead and give it that little S curve. So I think something like that looks really nice. I like that. I'll just show you a before and after of just the tone curve. So the next thing I'm noticing is the saturation looks a little bit high. This is especially noticeable because the clothes that our model is wearing is orange. So it makes everything seem like really vibrant. So we're going to bring down the saturation a little bit just to pull that back a little bit and make it look a little bit more natural. The next thing I want to do is bring the highlights down a little bit. Just about there is fine. And there we have our final image. I'll show you a before and after. This is the before and this is the after. So this is a really, really simple tutorial that you can apply to the majority of indoor images that you take. I feel like the most important thing to edit with an indoor photo is the temperature as well as the tone of the image, so how bright and how dark it is, as well as keeping in mind where the window light is coming in and making sure that your subject is evenly lit. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all really soon. Bye.